guys, this is Tammy Trayer, TrayerWilderness.com. This is a little bit of an unusual video and just uh, bear with me here because I am not used to using this equipment. It's new. Um, I swore I would never get a selfie stick, but I did. My arms are never long enough. So i um, trying it out and I have some really cool things I'd like to share with you today. Um, we felt led to help some dear friends of ours. Um, as you know, I'm not only a writer and an author, but I'm also a blogger and I um, communicate all the time and for the last three, four years with a lot of different people, wonderful people, people that I'm blessed to know and blessed to now call friends. And we had a dear friend of ours who is down in, was, was down in Louisiana and many of you may know her, Rhonda, from The Farmer's Lamp. But she um, ran into some unexpected um, situations uh, this winter, and they were um, in a situation where they didn't have a home or a roof over their head for winter. And uh, God nudged both Glenn and I um, to open our home and our cabin to Rhonda and her husband so that they would have a place to take refuge for the winter. And um, I love how God lines things up because currently I am experiencing some really um, bad health issues and I feel that she will be an asset and a huge help to me in the upcoming weeks. Uh, as I have surgery and different things. So I feel really, really blessed to be able to do what we are called to do as a child of God and, and pay it forward. God, you know, died for our sins and provides for us. And that's all he asks us to do is be there for our sisters and our brothers and our friends and our family. And it's not only about talking the talk, in my opinion, it's about walking the walk. I dealt with so much hypocrisy all my life, and and thankfully, I had a sound enough mind not to be drawn into it. And I don't, I don't want that for my life or my family. And we really desire to to live the life God has called us to live. So I am just so excited to be able to go and uh, meet up with Rhonda and her husband and bring them back to what will be their new home for a while till they are um, able to get on their feet and uh, find guidance from God. So this is just amazing and I'm just so excited about all the things that are opening up in our lives. And just over the last three, four weeks, it has just been miracle after miracle and it is just awing and amazing and I am just truly blessed so I wanted to just share this experience with you because I know Rhonda is going to be participating um, in some of my videos upcoming and I have asked her to write on our website about the experience of going cold turkey into off-grid living because I don't always get a chance to share all those things with you and all the feelings I have. I'm gonna start doing more videos because I can, I'm can. i really finding that I can share those things so much quicker than um, writing them because my time is so limited. But uh, like now, I'm in the car and I'm, I'm heading out and this is wasted time to me. So this is perfect to be able to um, share this information with you. So um, I'm looking forward to her expanding on that and sharing some of the, um, thoughts and feelings on her experience with off-grid living. So I have to um, jump out here, but I will keep you on the video as I progress with this and um, share Rhonda with you in a little bit, so stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back on here again. <laughs> okay, I'm back on here again, dang equipment. All right, um, just a pre-warning, I'm feeling a bit on the emotional side right now because I'll explain it this way. We have not disclosed what my health issues are right now, but we will be. Um, just We don't feel the timing is right, and uh, but I, I, want, I will be sharing that 
Uh, but over the last four weeks since I found out what's going on with me, I've just been really blessed. God has just been blessing me in such amazing ways, one miracle after another. And when I get to share this with you, you'll understand my emotion. But I just feel that uh, God has blessed me with Rhonda in, in that she is coming to us and will be such a help to me. So I'm coming up here where she is right now to meet up with her for the first time. I've honestly never met Rhonda in person um, and uh, have chatted and communicated with her for several years, but this is just awesomeness, absolute awesomeness. So bear with me with this hooting and howling as we do this here. I am introducing you to my YouTube audience. That's what I wanted to cross. I already oh. am. <laughs> I feel like you were such a blessing. I feel the same about you. God is so good. Please, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's like, love you too. Everybody, this is Rhonda. Hi. <laughs> and this is Jay. <laughs> Jay. Good to see you too. <laughs> I just, I wanted to introduce you to my audience because you're going to be playing a significant role, I'm sure, in everything we're doing. So. Oh, that's fantastic. Good to meet you. <laughs> so. Guys, we'll get jumping back on here later. You guys take care, and until the next video, God bless. Bye.